we are now going to discuss the digestive system of frog. All the systems are very well developed in amphibians. And frogs, because they, have car they are carnivores, their elementary canal is short. So they have short elementary canal because longest elementary canal is of herbivores, then is of omnivores and the shortest is of carnivores. So because they are carnivores, the elementary canal, the length is the shortest. Shortest means when you're comparing the herbivores, omnivores and carnivores. The mouth leads into a big cavity, which is called the buccopharyngeal cavity. So, if you are talking about the parts, the mouth leads into buccopharyngeal cavity. So, let us draw the diagram to understand how this works. And suppose this is the upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. In case of frogs, Teeth are present only in the upper jaw and these teeth are all of the same shape and size. So we call it homodont and they are superficially attached. So this is upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. So, these are the teeth. They are called maxillary teeth because the upper jaw bone is called the maxilla. And this cavity is the buccopharyngeal cavity. When we say it, here we see those tiny openings of the nostrils. And here we also see that depression of the bulging eyes. So, they bulge out as well as there are depressions on the inner side. Now, on the lower jaw, there is tongue and this tongue is anteriorly attached. So, here it is attached and then it is like this. So, attachment point is here. We call it anteriorly attached. So, whenever they have to feed on the insects, this tongue is darted out. So, it is attached like this place and then it is thrown out. So, we said it is anteriorly attached. It is long and sticky. So, this is the tongue. And teeth are present only in the upper jaw, not in the lower jaw. Because teeth actually do not work or help in chewing. They simply swallow the food. So, what they do is, whenever they find or uh, want to eat an insect, they just dart that tongue. It is sticky. So, insect sticks to that tongue and they swallow it whole. So, the function of these teeth, the maxillary teeth, is just to provide a little grip to that food which they are swallowing. So, buccopharyngeal cavity and this cavity also helps in respiration because it is lined with the mucous membrane. And from here, then starts the esophagus. Esophagus is short because esophagus is that tubular structure of our elementary canal which goes through the neck. And as we have seen that frogs do not have neck, this esophagus is short. So, suppose this is the opening of the elementary canal. The opening is known as the gullet. And then there is this narrow esophagus and it leads into a big sac like stomach. And this is the narrow esophagus. Stomach is big. Stomach has all the gastric glands And all the enzymes and hydrochloric acid, everything is secreted here. The stomach leads into the intestine part. So, intestine is a tubular structure. So, this 
so this is the intestine which is a coiled part and intestine is divided into duodenum so the first part is the duodenum part the later part is the ileum so basically this is the small intestine of ours we can compare it with small intestine duodenum jejunum ileum type and then it leads into the rectum so this goes into a slightly swollen structure and this is rectum and rectum leads into another sac like structure which is in continuation and this sac like structure is called the cloaca so these animals they have cloaca cloaca is a common structure this is the place where three systems open digestive system would open here the excretory system would also open here and the reproductive system will also open here and here we will also find the urinary bladder it is a folded structure like this so the urinary bladder is also seen here and this opening is cloacal opening or aperture so cloaca is a characteristic feature of these amphibians. Digestive system has mainly these parts, stomach, then duodenum, ileum, and then rectum. Rectum opens into cloaca. Cloaca is going to receive three things. Undigested food from the digestive system, excretory material, that is urine-like structure from the uh, kidneys, and the gametes from the reproductive system. Now, the glands. So here after esophagus is the stomach and then intestine, it opens into cloaca. So this cloaca thing has to be remembered, very, very important. The glands are two, that is liver and pancreas. So liver produces bile. And pancreas produces all those digestive enzymes which help in digestion of proteins, fats, carbohydrates. And gastric glands are present in the stomach. So we have written those glands here. So from here, all the gastric juices will be secreted and the pancreas produces all those digestive enzymes. Now the secretion from liver and pancreas is poured into duodenum. It is pretty much same as what happens in our case. In case of humans, the, from liver, bile duct, and from pancreas, the pancreatic duct. They bring their secretion and open into the duodenum through a common opening. So here, in this depression is the pancreas here. So this is the pancreas and upper part has the liver so here the liver different lobes of liver and from liver there would be a duct and from pancreas also there would be a duct and these two ducts open into the duodenum so this common duct is the common bile duct and then pancreatic duct so the duct is now known as the hepato pancreatic duct so digestive system is very well developed the only difference is in the length of the elementary canal the reason is they are carnivores and they swallow the insects whole the important things which we have to remember in digestive system is that the teeth are present only in the upper jaw the tongue is bifid and is anteriorly attached. It is darted. The insects stick to this tongue which has mucus on it. It is very sticky. And they swallow the insects completely as it is. They don't chew their food. Then it goes into the through the gullet into esophagus, stomach, where the digestion starts. 
continues in the uh, elementary canal that is in the intestine part and rectum contains the undigested material and it opens into the cloaca. So, cloaca is a common sac like structure which receives digestive system, the material coming from digestive system, excretory system and reproductive system. So, when we talk of excretory system and reproductive system at that time also we will see that ultimately everything gets poured into the cloaca. So, this is the digestive system. It is a very well developed system pretty much same as that of humans but because of its mode of nutrition it is slightly different and there are some special structures which are found in amphibians which we have to remember. So, this is the digestive system of frogs.